Dr. D, curious, ahoy there, mateys. Dr. D, curious reporting for duty, and prepare to set sail on a voyage of medical mystery. Today's destination? The land of monkey pox, where rumors roam wilder than a pirate captain's beard. Remember that summer of swirling headlines and social media storms? Well, buckle up, because we're diving deep to bust myths and bring you the latest intel on this furry little foe. Now, first things first, monkey pox ain't some mythical beast straight out of Davy Jones locker. It's a cousin of infamous smallpox but chill like a beach bum compared to its grumpy predecessor. Think fluish feels, swollen glands, and those telltale blistery rashes that look like a treasure map drawn by a particularly artistic pirate parrot. But here's the good news, cases have taken a nosedive since their summer peak, thanks to the power of science and, well, maybe a little mermaid magic, okay, probably not, but it's a fun image, right? But just because the hype has cooled doesn't mean we can bury our heads in the sand like ostriches, though that might make a hilarious viral video. Misinformation is lurking like a kraken in the murky depths, so let's shine a spotlight on those pesky myths. Myth number one, monkey pox is airborne. Nope. Think of it like a treasure chest you have to pry open, it needs close, prolonged contact with infected skin or fluids, like cuddling, sharing bedding, or giving that overly friendly octopus a high five. Casual chats or accidental bumps. Not your pirate plunder. Myth number two, monkeys are to blame. Arg, mateys, not true. While the name might be a tad misleading, this ain't a monkey business. Monkeypox spreads primarily through human-to-human -human contact, not from those furry friends at the zoo. So, you can still enjoy your banana split without fear of catching anything but a sugar rush. Now, onto the good stuff, protecting your booty, I mean, your health. Vaccines are our magical doubloons in this treasure hunt. Two authorized vaccines are doing a swashbuckling job, so if you're considered high risk, get that jab. It's your best defense against this poxy pirate. But let's say you stumbled upon a suspicious rashy map on a friend's skin. What then? Post-exposure protocols are your trusty first mate. Early antiviral treatment can be like a cannon blast against the pox, significantly reducing its severity. So, if you suspect you've crossed paths with this critter, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Remember, early diagnosis is like finding the buried treasure before anyone else. And for those who've already plundered my previous video on monkeypox on this very channel, and ahoy, thank you for that, consider this a bonus treasure map. This video delves deeper, dispels even more myths, and makes this illness sound less like a kraken and more like a manageable medical mystery. Think of it as a two-video combo for ultimate monkeypox awareness. So, there you have it, me hearties. Monkey pox, not a monkey menace, but a medical mystery we can handle together. Remember, knowledge is our compass, and with a little scientific savvy and a healthy dose of skepticism, we can navigate these murky waters with ease. Stay informed, stay safe, and keep those curious minds open. Until next time, may your voyages be filled with discovery and your health be as smooth as a pirate's rum.